Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our ACA orientation. Uh, we have everyone takes away some valuable information from this um, information um, opportunity. And we um, are glad that so many of you were able to, to join us today. Our president often comes, unfortunately, both our president, Dr. Tansy, and our vice president of academics, Dr. Ainge, are in other meetings. And so they send their regrets, but they were not able to uh, come today to, to meet with us. Uh, but we do have the Vice President of Students, Mr. Rick Anderson, who is going to uh, speak with you. Um, several of you, I, I recognize some faces. Um, some of you, this is uh, maybe your first experience at Beaufort Community College. Others of you have been um, here in, in, as a student uh, before. But my, my role today is, is really just to welcome you and then also kind of let you know the areas that I'm responsible for and that, uh, that the, some of the resources that are here to help you uh, if you need help uh, in any way. Uh, the areas that I'm responsible for, and you're gonna hear from a lot of these people in just a few minutes. Uh, I'm responsible for financial aid, also the registrar's office, as well as the admissions office, also the counselors, and then all of the student government and student activities. Um, I'm also responsible for the TRIO, program for those that might participate in that. All of that kind of falls underneath of the umbrella of student services. So if you, <clears throat> if you first of all have any kind of problems or issues with any of those areas, the first thing I would urge you to do is, is go and speak with those folks. There's a director for each of those areas and they are more than willing to speak with each one of you if you have a problem or a concern. Um, but then, uh, you know, if you if you've done that and you still don't seem to be getting to where you need to go uh, then the next step is to uh, come and see me and, and we will sit down and we'll try to work through whatever problems you have um, not always going to guarantee you that we're going to be able to meet the solution that you want um, but you will always find me to have an open door and and ready to sit down and listen and try to help you in any way that i can that's my role um, here at Beaufort Community College is to try to support students and help you uh, with whatever situations that you may come into so that you can be successful here. That's, that's ultimately what you want. That's ultimately what we want. Uh, we want you to walk away from Beaufort uh, with a, a positive experience and, and some type of credential that, uh, that you've sought in your hand. So um, if you have any issues with those things that I have mentioned to you, uh, follow those those chains of command and those procedures speak with those folks and then if you you're not able to get what you need come and see me and uh, we'll, we'll sit down and we'll go from there do any of you have any questions for me that's the two minute yes sir we okay you can email me or let me tell you first of all where my office is at I'm located in building one in office 101 B I'm in the same office suite that the uh, vice president of instruction is and I'm glad you mentioned that because that really it brings up a good point that I can help you with if you come and see me and you've had a problem with a grade uh, there's been some type of a discipline issue within a classroom or whatever any anything that you feel like maybe has happened with you and your your situation and it's not quite been what you expected it to be or you feel like something's been done uh, wrong in any way the process for that is that once you've gone through that chain of command and you get to me what we will do then is you will uh, submit to me in writing a request for an appeal uh, and that request for appeal then triggers the appeal process and the appeal process says that uh, I will set up a committee. There is a student appeals committee uh, that's made up of faculty, staff, and then also students. And the student appeals committee will consist of two faculty members, two staff members, and two students. Uh, I will set up the uh, hearing date that you will have an opportunity then to come in and, and state whatever your concern is or your problem or whatever inequity you feel like uh, has come your way. Uh, to that committee. The committee will hear that. The person, the instructor or financial aid director or whatever uh, person that you feel like was responsible for the inequity then uh, will state their case 
Um, you and the other person will leave the room after everybody's had a chance to talk. The Student Appeals Committee will discuss and debate uh, who they feel like was in the right or what is the best outcome uh, for you as well as the institution, and then they will let me know what their decision is. Once they let me know what their decision is, then I will send you a letter. And I usually, because I don't want people to sit on pins and needles and not know what the outcome is, I usually try to call as well. But you will get an official letter from me letting you know what the committee's decision was based on your appeal. Um, so that, that's kind of how that procedure works. I'm glad you asked that question, but that's how you will ultimately get to that, that end result. Any other questions for me? That was a good question. Okay, if there aren't any other questions, I wish you all the success, and uh, if you need me for anything, again, I'm in Building 1, Room Office 101B, and you can come see me at any time. Thank you. Thank you very much. I realized as I introduced Mr. Anderson that I didn't introduce myself. I am Mrs. Enix. I'm head of the Developmental Education Department. Um, the DRE classes, those of you who are taking DRE classes, as well as the ACA 118 classes, which is why you're here, are under our department, uh, as is the Academic Support Center, and you'll learn more about that. But the DMA classes, Mrs. Mullis is here. Um, she is in charge of the DMA classes, and she's uh, going to speak with you in just a moment, just so you kind of get the general idea of who you go to as we talk about the chain of command. Um, you're going to hear from a lot of other people here on campus, but the next person and one other person that you're going to hear from are probably going to be some of your best resources. The best, some of the best resources you have are the other students in your class, and you want to get to know those students, and you want to work with them, and that becomes a very important part of being successful in your class. And we have with us today a couple of master students, students who have been through ACA 118 and other courses, who have been successful and are going to share their experiences of, of why this course was important and, and what their uh, think is important for you to take away from the class. And I'd like to introduce our first master student, uh, Casey Harris. Hey, I am Casey Harris. I am a student right now. Um, last semester was my first semester here, so I've already taken ACA with Miss Casey. Um, when I first looked at the schedule, I had no idea what ACA was whatsoever. Um, but after I got used to taking the class, I found out it was very easy and very helpful. Um, it is. It's, um, you won't think that it is, but it, it'll make you think. It, you know, it'll, um, whether you're coming from high school, whether you've been out of school for a while, it really will really shed some light on how you can study because I graduated high school in 99 and I have two kids and I have not been to school until now, until last year. So I'm still learning. I have no idea what a lot of this stuff is. But um, ACA will end up helping you with your other courses because, you know, you can, it just sheds light on everything or how you think or how you study is completely different from high school. So it's, um, don't let it worry you, don't let it scare you. There's a lot of help. You know, all the teachers that teach it are very willing to help you get through it with whatever you need. And I don't know. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a really good course. So now I'm gonna let them do what they need to do. Hey, good morning. Um, my name is Dana Sauls and I also teach ACA 118. And I was told to remind those who just came in, make sure you sign in under your instructor's uh, sign-in sheet and also get a packet. Um, again, you're here for lots and lots of information, but for some of you, what is the main reason you're here? Points. For the points, exactly. <laughs> so if you do not sign in, you will not get your points. So make sure you sign in and make sure you get a packet of information. And Miss Casey will probably mention this a little bit later, what this information is gonna do for you later on in, in the course. I'm gonna introduce uh, some of your resources. So if you get out your gold sheet, I'm gonna first introduce some of our um, developmental um, instructors. Um, we have DRE 096, 097, and 098, and some of you may be enrolled in some of these courses as well. Um, so when I call your name, if you'll please come up to the microphone um, because Mr. Casey's filming for our night instructors, so they need to see your face as well as hear your name. 
Um, we have some night instructors, Renee Basnight, Melissa Morlock, and Wanda Woolard, and of course they're not here, they teach here at night. Um, Julie Fagundis is one of our part-time uh, DRE 097 instructors. And I do not see Julie, okay. Um, another part-time instructor, uh, Donna Parker, is here. And then uh, full-time, Dale Enix, Kate Purvis, Beth Casey. You'll just come up, introduce yourself. I'm Dale Enix, as I said already. Uh, I basically teach DRE 096 uh, along with the ACA 118 classes. Good morning, I'm Kate Purvis. I teach DRE 096 and 098. <laughs> I just recently got married, so sometimes I forget my name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Donna Parker and I teach DRE 098. And I'm Beth Casey, and I teach ACA 118 and DRE 098, and I teach you and you. And you. I see lots of my people. <laughs> and as I just said, I'm Dana Salls, and I also teach DRE 097 and ACA. Uh, we also have a developmental math um, department, and Kimberly Mullis is our lead instructor. So she's going to come up and talk, and her people? Hey, people. Hi, my name is Kim Mullis, and I'm lead instructor for math here at Beaufort Community College. And on behalf of our math department, I'd like to welcome you all. Um, and Regina Price, if you'd like to come up and introduce yourself. Good afternoon. My name is Regina Price, and I am teaching DMA 50, 60, 70, and 80 this semester. So if you are lucky enough to be on one of those, then you may have me sometime during this semester. <laughs> All right, and in our math department, we teach developmental and curriculum level math. So Ms. Price, you'll see her for developmental math and also uh, for curriculum math as well. There are um, six full-time math faculty and there are 10 um, adjunct math faculty. So um, there's only two of us here today. If you'd like to put some names and faces together, I encourage you to visit our math department website and we have a, a list of all of our instructors and you can see photos and, and make connections with those um, instructors. In terms of resources, I think the greatest resource you have is your instructor. We pride ourselves in the math department on um, trying to help our students as much as we can. So if you're struggling in any one particular topic, um, take advantage of your instructor's office hours. We all have them. If you have a part-time instructor, you can um, feel free to come see one of us full-time folks and we'll get you moving in the right direction. Um, I mentioned our math department website. We also have student success tips and different um, resources for you there. I encourage you to visit that. Thank you. Uh, next, we have the coordinator of the Academic Support Center, James Casey. Good afternoon. <clears throat> I believe a good portion of you have probably already been into the Academic Support Center already this semester. I know um, I, had, I gave a lot of tours those first couple of days, um, so most likely you've heard the, the quick version. Um, what I want to point out to you today, if you check in your packet, we do have a schedule that's available for you. Um, in addition to myself being available in the center, I'm there um, 7.30 every morning, uh, all of our, our regular hours. Um, we do have some other instructors who are available at different times throughout the week. Um, if you'll notice on the schedule, we do have uh, this semester, we've got 10 hours of math instruction, um, assistance with math uh, available to you, which is excellent things. I encourage you to take advantage of that. Um, we also have several of our DRE instructors who are available at different times throughout the week. Um, in addition to myself and the other instructors, we do have uh, my assistant, Courtney Howard. Some of you may have worked with her already. She's over there taking care of things right now, um, but she is available for four hours each day. So we've got a lot of assistants at, at various times throughout the week, and I, I highly encourage you to come in whether you need help with your DRE class or if you need help with um, using technology, if you're having difficulty with Blackboard, your student email, if you need to know how to type up a paper, um, we try to do a little bit of everything. So um, I encourage you to come in, let us know what we can do to help. All right, thank you. Thank you, James. 
Uh, next we have uh, tutors for our DRE courses and we have two this semester, Claire Darrow and Judy Bailey and Claire is actually tutoring right now so uh, Judy is here to talk with you. I am Judy Bailey and uh, I've retired three times. Most recently I retired from teaching DRE reading in English so I do know the territory as does Ms. Darrow. We are here every day from 8 until 1 and happy to help you. Do sign up if you have not done so. If you don't think you need a regular session with us, just drop in. Many times people don't show up, life happens, and we have an opening. Also, if you think, well, I didn't fail the reading assessment, I don't have a paper due, do I really need to go? Well, the answer is yes. We can help you with this lovely edition. <laughs> Sometimes if you're asked to write a paper, it's like being asked to build a McMansion, a big fancy house with no foundation. We can help you with that foundation. So please come in. We'll be happy to walk you through this, give you a down and dirty review, whatever it takes but use us, we are there to meet your needs. So please drop in. You know, we don't wanna just sit there all day, so show up and make us earn our keep. Thank you. Thanks, Judy. And I sorta of had selective hearing, Judy, because I've, I've heard you speak before, but did you mention where you were located? No, I didn't. Okay, not. okay. <laughs> Building 1, room 113, uh, right next door to the Academic Support Center. So that's where they're located. And they have a sign-up sheet in that room. Uh, next, also under Student Services, is we have counselors uh, here on campus. And we have one with us here today, Kimberly Jackson. Good afternoon. I'm very happy to be in front of you today and happy to have all of you here. Beaufort County Community College really prides ourselves with being very personal and hands-on in the way that we approach our students and our students' learning. And with that, counseling is a part of that function. We want to be here to help support you in reaching all of your goals. Our offices are located over <coughs> in Building 9, and we're there to help you with a variety of resources. For example, many of you may have seen us for placement testing. Uh, we also help with students developing academic strategies or life strategies to be successful here at the college. Um, please know that when you meet with us, we meet with you independently, individually, in a confidential setting. So, you know, this is really between you and I, or the other counselor and, and, and you, um, as we explore whatever we can do to help you be successful. Being a student here is exciting, but it's also challenging. And we like to be a first stop for you sometimes to kind of answer your questions or meet your needs. We'll help with academic planning, transfer planning, um, career planning. Um, we can also help you um, combat some of those personal issues that may be coming. I'd love to say that life stops when you become a student, but we all know that doesn't happen. You know, life still goes on. And when you're facing those issues, we're here to help support you. Also, you know, I tell you as an adult <coughs> student, um, I say this all the time, that when you're in class, have you ever been in class and your teacher says something, you look around and you say, what are they talking about? Ever happened to you? It's happened to me, okay? And I tell you, when that happens to you, you know, don't sit there and be alone in that experience. If you feel that, definitely go to your instructor. Say, hey, I missed something, I'm not understanding. But you can come to us too. You know, we're, I'm hoping you see a very friendly face and that you'll come to us and we can help work through whatever issues that you're having, whatever concerns you may have. Because if you don't address those, it actually builds and you become further and further behind in whatever has happened in your class. So if you feel that, you're not alone, it happens. But come and get help right away. Um, we are, I can't tell you enough, we're here to support you. We're here eight to five, Monday through Thursday, eight to four on, thir on Fridays. But we'll make you know, other arrangements. If you have children that you need to attend to and come in later in the evening meet with us, we'll do whatever we can to meet your needs. Um, you know, I can't stress enough, the students that are most successful in college are not necessarily brightest students. You're all here because you graduated or got your GED, so that's the requirements to be admitted. You're here because you have a goal in mind. The students that are most successful are the students that take advantage of their resources. I'm one of your resources. Take advantage 
of that. Come and talk with me about whatever concerns that you have. I'm available and eager to work with you to reach your goals. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kimberly. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our next master's student, Mr. William Moore. Yes, my name is William Moore. Um, this is my second year. I took ACA last year. And, uh, um, I came out here, you know, I was, you know, my mind was kind of messed up because I had lost my, my mother and my wife in the same month, you know, same year. And um, I didn't know what was I facing when I came out here. So what I did, um, you know, I try to apply myself with different subjects, you know, that I figured was easy enough for me to pass and all that, you know, you know. I didn't even know what I was looking at. I, they said, well, you can do this class, you can do that class. I said, I want the, the, the least hardest class you get. I don't, <laughs> don't give me nothing hard and stuff, you know. So I started off in DRE, you know, which helped me out a lot. And um, boy, and well, I thought it helped me out a lot. DRE ain't the easiest thing in the world either, you know. <laughs> but what it is, you know, I, one of my class was ACA. And I was like, ACA, what is that, ACA? And ACA was the main class that really helped me, you know, through the rest of them, you know. Taught me how to, you know, organize, you know, taught me how to study, you know. I mean, it really helped me out a lot. And, um, I found out through that classroom that I wanted more. I found out, do y'all got an ACA one, two, and three, and stuff like that? You got English, you, you got advanced English and all that, you know, I just didn't, I couldn't get enough of it, you know. So from then on, you know, I apply that to my other classes, and um, it makes you, that makes you want more, to grab some more of education, you know, to want to, you know, get as much as you can out of it. And if you apply that to all of your classes, you know, and you know, always want more to study and you know, get all the knowledge you can. There ain't no way in the world you can fail. You, you, you're really gonna do good. And that's what school is all about. And I don't plan on being out here no five or six years and all that stuff, <laughs> one or two years. Before. But I'm, I'm hoping to get out of here next year sometime and all that, you know, with the help of all of y'all too, because that's how we do. You gotta help everybody. Everybody gotta help everybody here, you know. That's what it is. Don't, don't be afraid to ask for no help. Because I have to be in that y'all are strangers to me, you know, with faces. You ain't a stranger to me for me to walk up and ask you for no help. Because I ask you, hey, what's your name? Uh, you know, do you know Mav? Do you know this? Do you know that? That's how you got to do it, you know, to get by. You know, everybody need everybody here. There ain't nobody better than nobody else, you know. And I thank you for your time. Thank you. William, so cool. Thank you, William. <laughs> I'm Beth Casey again, and I'm going to kind of introduce a few other individuals. Um, we still, you still have that orange sheet? Okay, we flip it over, and we're going to come to the back um, now. And I've got about maybe four or five individuals I'm going to introduce. Um, the first is Joan Robson. I see her over there. She is coordinator of special populations here on campus, and and here she comes. Uh, I'm a little bit groggy. I just got back from a trip to Minneapolis, and I couldn't even drive home without falling asleep. I was almost falling asleep at the wheel. So right now, I'm like out of it. So I'm going to do my best. Anyway, I just wanted to let everybody know that um, if, if you have any kind of a documented disability that you may have in high school had accommodations for, or possibly it's a disability that came on afterwards, or you're an adult who has a disability that um, may benefit from accommodations, under Americans with Disabilities Act or Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act. Those are the two laws that protect you as, a, as an adult learner um, with a disability. Please come see me um, to talk about um, how that might impact you here at school and what we can do to um, provide you with access to those courses or to the campus. I'm located in Building 9, room, new room 927A, and I'm here uh, the same hours as Ms. Jackson and the rest of the full time student services staff. So please come by and see me if you need any assistance. I do have a little brochure outside, this one, and there's also another brochure that uh, says special populations on it, so I'll give you a little bit more information. Good luck, thanks. Um, I'm glancing around trying to make sure I see everybody. I definitely see Theresa Edwards. She is a coordinator of student service activities, not services, activities, please come on. They tell me I'm a little bit everywhere. 
Welcome. Um, I see a lot of familiar faces, um, but um, I'm in charge of activities here on campus. I'm also the go-to person when if you want a club, if you want to start a club here on campus, I'm the lady for you to come see. Your first step in any doing anything like that, though, you'd have to find someone that would want to be your advisor. Then come to me. Um, we have, I'm in charge of the student government here. We have SGA. In fact, we're going to be looking for some new officers coming up in the next few weeks. We're going to be, you'll be seeing signs going around campus. Number one thing that I can tell all of you guys is to remember to read your emails, know what's going on on campus. It's, you're, you've got a lot of great resources, take advantage of it. I was a student here myself just a few years ago and I have tooted his horn ever since I have been um, able to speak at one of your ACA meetings, and that's James Casey. When I came here, I didn't know anything about a computer. I was lost as I could be, and I, he helped me a lot. Um, because, and, and I didn't, I, there was so many things that were expected for me to know, but I was a lot older than a lot of you guys. And, um, but I worked hard, and I didn't let nothing get over on me because I knew that it, I was in that boat for myself, and I knew that I had to do it. You guys know you can do it too, any of you. I'm located in Building 9, Room 918. If you have any questions or concerns, I may not know the answer, but I guarantee you I know who I can lead you to. Feel free to walk in to see me anytime. My door is usually open. If you don't see me, you'll probably hear me. Just come see me. Thank you. Oh, there is a brochure in your thing that's got student activities in it. It um, gives you a little bit about what's going on on campus and gives you some important dates and information about upcoming things. Um, now that I've got this opportunity, I will tell you. We've got a spring dance coming up. I want to see you there. Y'all might not shake a leg, but I can. <laughs> I will prove it to you. We have a DJ going to be here. The cost is going to be very minimum. We're going to feed you, have a DJ for four hours, have a blast. It'll be on a Friday night. Um, we've got a spring festival coming up. I don't know the dates in front of me, but we're going to feed you. You'll see where, it, it, that's what I'm saying, keep an eye on your email. Know what's going on. There's a lot of things going on campus, but if, if you don't check your emails, you don't know. Because we put it on the, board. we can put it out there on the boards, we can put it on the doors, but I don't know how many of us, and I'm guilty of it too, walk through that door because you got your mindset on where you got to go. You don't read what's there. But if you will check your emails and know what's going on on campus, some valuable things happening. They may have, them, have you some money up there at the front desk and you don't even know it because you didn't read your email. But that, that's a piece of advice that all of us are going to tell you is because that email is vital. Any questions? Come see me. Come on over there. Nine eighteen. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Edwards. Thank hey, you. Uh, in her brochure, I want to especially note March eleventh, SGA sponsored blood drive. Mm -hmm. And if you've been in your ACA class, you know giving blood here is worth a lot of points. Okay. <laughs> um, so next, I'm going to invite um, Mrs. Dor Ms. Jordan up if, if she'll come up. Um, my name is Dorothy Jordan and I'm Director of Student Support Services, a TRIO program here at Beaufort County Community College. And TRIO, or SSS, as we're known, is a program that where we serve a special group of students, not special um, because of anything bad, but special because we consider ourselves a learning community where our students support each other, where we support our students, and we offer services that supplement in addition to all that you've heard with the tutoring, Mr. Casey's services, Ms. Jackson's services, we tend to offer a, a little bit of an additional bit of services for our students. Um, our students work together um, in our learning community to help each other be successful here at Beaufort County Community College. And our goal is to help you work to reach your educational goal, hopefully it's graduation and or transfer to a four-year institution. And you have a brochure, maybe pink or green or another color, um, that talks about our services. And just very, very briefly to, to, to just highlight a few things, we 
Um, on the, the back page it says college transfer. In addition to what Ms. Jackson can offer, we have Ms. Tashana Scott, who is our counselor, um, and her office is in building nine, room 914. And Ms. Scott does some additional things um, to supplement what Ms. Jackson and Ms. Hill does in terms of college transfer. Um, we offer the opportunity for students to go on um, four-year visits, visits to four-year schools, rather. And um, we've had students who never considered themselves, for themselves, that opportunity to transfer. Once they go on the campus, they talk to students, they talk to admissions staff, they go, well, you know, I can do that too. So part of our goal is to encourage you to, to reach, 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 um, further than maybe you even imagined for yourself. Um, and that's what one thing we do with college transfer. We offer tutoring. Um, you heard about the tutoring already offered. We offer tutoring also in um, subject matter courses. We have tutors who are students who have been successful in those courses. We have um, sometimes a professional tutor, someone who has a four-year degree and has, has come back to assist our students. But um, we offer tutoring and in our tutor lab or resource lab, and that's in building one, room 120. All that's on the back of, back of the page there. Academic counseling, uh, and we kind of call everything we do outside of that academic counseling. It could be a student has a problem with test anxiety or math anxiety, and you just really need to talk it through. Um, we offer those kinds of services, information, um, just assistance with that. I've seen Ms. Hunter, who is our student success coordinator, also located in Building 1, um, have a student come by her office just before she had, she had to take a test, and they went through relaxation techniques so the student could go into her, her test better prepared, feeling calmer, and ready to tackle it. So we offer those kinds of services, academic um, counseling. Also in terms of uh, once you start getting into some of your, your uh, other courses, it's a matter of how do I manage the course. It may be that I know all I need to know about all those things, but exactly how do I pull it together? How do I pull Blackboard together with all that I've learned, but, but we can sit down with you and help you with time management, managing your courses, managing your schedule. Um, resource materials, right now we have some calculators when you get in the higher level math courses that we can loan. Um, we have digital recorders and as you'll learn in your ACA class, if you haven't already, sometimes that's a technique to help you study by recording um, the lectures that the teacher gives you or even just use the recording to read your own notes in and play it back when you're in your car. Some of you have a commute like I do and you can use your time while you're commuting to study. So we have that available. We have a very, very few laptops. They're, they're getting older and, and our number has dwindled, but hopefully we'll get a few more um, that'll help you if you're in an online class or, you know, we have one that doesn't go online, but it does have Word and somebody has said, I just need a type of paper. And we say, here you go. So we do have those kinds of resources. Um, we are hope, hopefully getting some new, new things as we get some funds um, to be able to assist our students as well. We have some flashcards um, available for certain courses. We have on Facebook, if you go to the um, BCC website, you can eventually reach our Facebook page on our LibGuide page, and um, I'm sure they'll talk with you about that in ACA. Um, the library, from the library website, you can get on the Student Support Service, Services LibGuide, and we offer lots of study guides, study materials, assistance with text, textbooks, and we're always updating it. Um, we offer actual sit-down workshops to enhance and supplement what you've learned in ACA. Um, I know this semester we're planning to offer a study skills workshop. Um, we always offer financial aid because that's important to know. And we get a financial aid officer from our campus to do it. So it's, it's not just me telling you something. It's from the experts themselves. Um, we offer um, workshop, we're planning to offer a workshop on financial literacy. You know, how, once we get this money, what do we do with it? How do we budget? How do we make it work? Um, and, and also on college transfer and some others that I just can't remember right now, but that's one of the things we do. We do cultural awareness um, by offering the opportunity to think beyond um, High Terrell, Beaufort, and Washington counties. We give you the opportunity to see some things that you may not have not 
seek on your own. Um, we've had taken students, last year our, uh, we had a little bit of money and we took some students to Washington DC for a day. Um, we went to the Capitol, we went to the King Center, um, the Smithsonian, um, drove past the Pentagon, had a wonderful day. It was a whirlwind day, but we did it in one day and our students were, were happy that they were able to do that. We've gone to see the color purple, um, the play, uh, we've been to dinner theaters, we'll take students to ECU, planning to go just in February to see Driving Miss Daisy, the play at ECU. So we're planning some exciting things for this semester, and not just this semester, if you don't need our help this semester, that's okay. We plan to be here again next time, but just remember our services, remember we're here. Um, all our information's on the back in terms of where to find us and we would love to have you be a part of our, our special group. We even have a club that our students have formed so that they could access and participate even better in the services that Ms. Edwards was talking about. So please, come see us and hope you have a wonderfully successful career here at Beaufort County Community College. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Jordan. Um, the last or organizational campus that's going to speak with us is Career Services, and I have two individuals, and I wonder if I could probably bring you both up so you can just come one after the other. But we'll start with, um, you will both come up, and let me introduce you both. Um, Mrs. McFadden is the Director of Career Services, and Steve Smith is the uh, Cooperation um, Education Co Coordinator. In my notes, I put he's the co-op guy. Co okay, guy. So the co-op guy. So um, we'll start um, with Mrs. McFadden, please. Are we about to go to sleep? <laughs> um, I'm Sandra McFadden. I'm the director of your career um, center here on campus. And we're located in Building 9. And the, on the brochure, which is the yellow one, that's a picture of the inside of it. There are three stations there that you can come in and work on resumes, job applications, online job searches, etc. It's open to you to walk in if you um, want to just do that. If I'm in my office, I can assist. If you want more help, just let me know. We'll make an appointment. I'm not going to go through all the things in here. They're available for you to read. Um, but one of the main goals is to help you to assess what it is you want. When your career starts, when you leave here, you're working on either a new career or enhancing one that you've been working on. Uh, and the ultimate goal is to get employment. Is it not? Like William said, he don't want to be out here five years. And I know William. He's already worked with me on the resume last semester. And we had, there's another thing. If you don't read your email, you wouldn't know about the $50 drawing. That's free money if you come in and do the resume. Right, William? That's right. That's right. He's quite... I like William. He's a good guy. Um, and the other thing that he has is a hunger. He has a hunger to learn. He has a hunger to move forward in his life. And we're always eager to help those students that really want to do that. We want to encourage you to find that niche, to find that hunger to make you successful here at college and to go out and find work. Now, Mr. Smith is going to talk to you about um, co-op. He is located not at the Career Center, and, uh, but he, we kind of partner because I used to do that job at one time and now they've hired Mr. Smith in here to do that position. But remember, lots of resources, lots of information. I've been on campus a long time. Even if you fall into my office by mistake, I can still find out what it is you need, where you need to go to help you be successful. So I'm going to, any questions for the Career Center? Some of you have already started coming in for the extra points on the job set on the assessment, haven't you? Some of you have already started. And they are available in the lab too. If I'm not in my office, if Ms. Edwards is there, she'll show you exactly where um, they're located in the lab if you need a copy of it. But I'm located in the back where the counseling with Ms. Jackson and Ms. Edwards is. So welcome. Good luck. I hope you, I love it when I see you come in and I love to see you when you leave with the caps mm -hmm. on. <laughs> hey, thanks. Uh, I'm also a teacher, a part-time teacher in the business department. And when I started teaching, uh, 
I would, I would work closely with the lead instructor in business. Her name, is Donna, her name is Donna Dunn. She's still here as the lead instructor. And she always told me, this is all about jobs. You go to ECU, you go to NC State, you go to other places, and it might be about other things, about you know, having a career in academics or doing other things. But at Beaufort County Community College, this is about jobs. In the right job, in the right field, depending on what your interests are and what you do well, can change your life. Everybody should agree with that. It can change your life. And uh, so Sandy and I work together in this career services field. We work with outside employers and uh, try to do what we can. We don't have a lot of freedom because employers only hire when they need people, but we have a lot of contacts. Your faculty has a lot of contacts, and they can be used as a resource to help you network your way into a job. Faculty are very eager to give letters of recommendation for students and to recommend students for jobs if they're good students. So that's what you control. How many people uh, are working today? Even if it's an hour a week, getting paid for a job, great. How many people think during their career they may need to work or may want to work? That's great. If you're lucky enough to work in the field of study, like if you're in office administration and you get a job in an office, or if you're in accounting and you get a job part-time doing taxes for H&R Block, if you're lucky enough to work in your field of study, you might be able to turn that into what's called a co-op job. And with a co-op job, if it's in your field of study and you get the approvals, and I've tried to describe that on your last page of your handout under frequently asked questions, if it's in your field of study, you might be able, and there's some hoops that are described there that you have to go through, but for those that can benefit, it can be significant because if you get a co-op job that's in your field of study, you can replace a course that you would otherwise have to sit in and take, but you get your degree faster because the work that you're doing anyway can replace a course if everything works right, if all the stars are aligned. So a co-op job is different than an internship, it's different from work study, and it is unique because you can get academic credit for work that you're doing and getting paid for. Uh, I've tried to, I won't go through all of the handout, I've tried to put myself in your position. Gee, if I don't know anything about co-op, what do I need to know? The important thing is um, to know about co-op, to know that it exists. I don't want you to get two years down the road and say, golly, if I'd only known about that, wow, I could have taken advantage of it. So save that frequently asked questions thing about co-op. As I always tell students to come to me, look, start with your faculty advisor, your lead instructor in your curriculum, start with them. But I'm a resource to help everybody uh, be successful in co-op for those that are lucky enough to work or get a job in their field of study. So I'm a resource to help make it work for everybody. Uh, you, the contact information is on your leave behind, and if you have any questions about co-op, come see me, call, and send me an email, I'll help you any way and I can help your faculty advisor as well if they have questions. That's all. Anything I can help you with today? Yes. Absolutely. Do it all the time. Um, uh, leave, you can leave word, the contact information there. I'm usually on campus Tuesday and Thursday. That's nor those are my normal work days. But um, tomorrow, you know, I've got an appointment in town, so I'll probably be on campus. It varies after that, but if it's Tuesday and Thursday in the morning, I could probably see you almost any Tuesday and Thursday. Just give me a call, leave word, or send me an email, and I'm happy to sit down with you. That's my job. Good. Thanks. Excuse me, I have just one tip before we close. If you'll hold on to the goldenrod sheet, um, your campus resource test that will be due soon, a lot, this will be a good resource for you to look at why the answers will be on this golden ride sheet. So keep this as a resource. Um, and now to close, we, you know, this is a very special place. You are surrounded by people that care, that want to see you succeed and become the master student that we know you are. So we've put together a little survival kit for you that you can pick up on your way out. But I wanna let you know that this year in your survival kit to help you survive the semester, we have you will find a piece of gum to remind you to stick with your studies, a rubber band to remind you to be flexible when things don't go your way, a lollipop to help you lick your problems, a cotton ball to cushion the rough roads that we know we have sometimes, 
a starburst to give you energy for those late night study, se study sessions, a paper clip to help you hold things together, and I think probably the most important thing is a little confetti to remind you that you need to schedule fun just as much as you need to schedule your study time. So, congratulations for being here. Hope you have a wonderful semester. Pick up your survival kit on your way out and um, have a great afternoon. Thank you.